let's start the show. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the ACM Show. Today I'm here with Louis, an account executive, and Marina, an account director at LinkedIn. Um, they've helped us uh, elevate our presence in the market over the years. How are you, how are you guys going today? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Good. Really good. It's on yeah, an Excited to be here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. So guys, how long, how long have you actually been working at LinkedIn? So I've been working there for three years. I'm coming to my three years. Um, I actually started as an SD, so a new business, and then moved up to account director and senior account director. Nice. Cool. So I started not long after Marina. Um, so I'm there coming up to three years, two years and eight months. Same uh, career trajectory. So I came in as an SD and then progressed to an account executive. So I focus purely on new business. But um, funnily enough, before Marina and I started at LinkedIn, we uh, used to work together in uh, our agency recruitment days. So, oh, really? Yeah. Both yeah. agency recruiters? Yes. Yeah. So for those who don't know, I guess if you're living under a rock, um, what, what is LinkedIn? Yeah, uh, good question. So everyone obviously knows LinkedIn is like the platform. I think uh, when you're answering the question of what is LinkedIn, it's always good to take a step back. Um, so I like, always like to bring it to like our mission and, and vision, our vision and mission. So our vision is really to connect every member of the global workforce with to econo economic opportunity. And then how we go about actually achieving that through the mission is actually connecting the world's professionals to make them more productive and successful. Mm. So you can look at it two ways. So there's obviously LinkedIn as a platform, that's where that comes in and people obviously come onto the platform every day engaging with content, sharing content, um, connecting with people in their networks, learning new skills, things like that. And then we also have our corporate solutions. So obviously the solutions that you're familiar with where you know we wanna make sure our companies and our clients are more productive and successful when it comes to things like you know hiring, um, workforce planning, learning and development, marketing to their audiences and their customers or you know selling to their customers as well. Um, so you guys have both been there for about three years. So how's the platform, I guess, evolved since you've, or while you've been working there? I actually don't know where to start. It's evolved a lot. So we are the type of company that we take on a lot of feedback and we change depending on what's happening in the market, what's happening with that feedback, and we're honestly evolving consistently. Mm. So just to give you guys an example of what has changed in the last three years, um, we've had new recruiter and jobs go live. We've had the rollout of Talent Insights. We've had the rollout of LinkedIn Live upgraded LinkedIn learning. We've even changed the LinkedIn.com platform to a point where it helps you pronounce people's names. So oh, really? we're ever changing and honestly, those are a couple of pieces that have changed. Um, there is a lot more <laughs> and we're consistently going to change. Yeah, for sure, nice. What's the name thing? Oh, it's the coolest thing ever. So basically, um, Across someone's name, just right next to their name, there's a little um, microphone. If you click on that microphone, it actually pronounces how their name is meant to. Um, yeah, you, you what's can, that word? For, phonetically? Yeah, yeah, phonetically. So one of our colleagues, ex-colleagues, his name is Johan Sabri, and he used to be a recruiter, and everyone used to get his name wrong. He was the first person to be like, no, I, I need to do this, recorded his voice, and now everyone says his name perfectly. Johan? Johan, yeah. So would people say like Johan? Yep, okay. exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, you, should, you could do that, yeah. Because I don't think it's going to be the last name. In Malai? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people do, yeah, a lot of people do the, the first and last name, so. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So we're interested to hear about the algorithm of LinkedIn and I guess how you can get more engagement for your posts. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for example, I have some, I have as many followers as, you know, my other colleagues, but they seem to get more engagement on their things, uh, I mean, their, their posts. Is there something I'm doing wrong? I mean, do you have any suggestions on how I can get better engagement for what I'm posting on LinkedIn? Yeah, absolutely. So I think this is the question that we get all the time. Mm. What, how does the algorithm work? How does engagement work? And basically engagement depends on relevancy, activity, and what's happening. So what you get on your news feed is based on your followers, your connections, and what you are liking. So it depends on your activity as well as your connections activity. Okay. So. To give you guys an example, me and Louie, when we were at um, Ivory Group, we were doing exactly exactly the same job, except he was working a different desk than I was. Okay. So my desk was civil engineering, and during that time, it was a little bit quieter. So I didn't get a lot of traction in comparison to the desk that Louie was working on. Even though we did the same, same thing, 
on our newsfeed, it was completely different. Yeah, right. So it really depends on what is happening in your world, in your connections. I guess to give you guys some feedback on what you could be doing better is just constant activity. If there's a particular company that you're interested in, to make sure that you're following them, um, have connections with the people that are working in that company, consistently reading particular articles that you may be interested in. It's all about the activity and the relevance to you on nice. the platform. Okay, cool. So it's just about what I'm sort of liking, what um, and you know what what I guess that community in LinkedIn is doing. Exactly. So, yeah. gotta, so I'm just posting wrong things, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. It really, and it also really depends on what your connections are looking at. So, mm. for example, even though I was hiring civil engineers, they could have wanted to go down the path of being becoming an environmental engineer. So, even though I could be presenting and putting up all this information about civil side, mm. I didn't know that most of my connections are looking at the environmental side. Right. So, it really depends on their actions as well. Okay, cool. cool. Is there anything about like the amount of times you should be posting for people to see your content because I've noticed that like <clears> if someone in our company is posting something if I like I might miss it yeah I don't always see it in the news feed yeah how does that all work it definitely depends on consistency so the more consistent that you're posting yeah. the more relevant and I guess the more engaged your connections will be so it depends on that but it really depends on what people are looking at at the time. And that's why it's so varied when you post something up. It could hit home to, mm. you know, thousands of people or it could hit home to 10, 10 people. Oh. So it really depends on how relevant the content is that you're posting as well. Okay. So other than job finding and candidate sourcing, what else can LinkedIn be used for? Because, I mean, if you're not doing any of those things, do you still recommend making a profile for LinkedIn? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's a really good question. So I think, again, like taking it back to... Um, you know, what we discussed before and the answer I gave around kind of LinkedIn as a platform and really like a community of professionals and again thinking about the vision and the mission and you know, we want to connect every member of the global workforce with opportunity and we want to connect the world's professionals to make them more um, productive. Sure. Um, it's really coming back to the platform, you know, not just a job seek, that's one part of it and, and candidate sourcing is a part of it but there's so much more to like the LinkedIn ecosystem outside of just that. Mm. Um, so one of the stats I saw the other day around like LinkedIn engagement is it's, it's grown 39% year on year since last year so that encompasses things like um, LinkedIn conversations. Um, content being shared, posts, things like that. So people are continuously coming to LinkedIn, you know, not purely to job seek, but you know, to engage with content, to you know, write their own content and share it with their networks, to connect with people in their industry. So it's a really big part of what LinkedIn is outside mm. of just job seeking and candidate sourcing. Yeah, wow. um, another big part as well, and, and this is really top of mind for not just you know our clients. Um, you know, across the corporate space, but also kind of in the staffing industry, so the learning piece as well. Yeah. So that's been a big talking point, and a lot of people are now coming to LinkedIn to learn new skills or you know uh, develop professionally because we now have, um, I guess, uh, we have certain products that are geared towards learning. But there's more and more people coming onto the platform to actually grow and learn new skills as well. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. From like a like a LinkedIn profile perspective, and like company pages and companies being on LinkedIn, I think you know it's really important again to have a LinkedIn profile, to constantly be updating your company page because it's really all around kind of awareness um, and your personal brand or your company brand. So from like a LinkedIn member perspective, you know, your LinkedIn shouldn't only be, you know, you shouldn't look at it as like a resume. It should be like a digital portfolio. So it's mm. an opportunity for you to showcase, um, yeah, not just the companies you've worked at, but the sorts of projects you've worked on, the skills that you've, uh, you know, amassed over your career history, you know, certain things that are important to you. It could be, you know, social impact ac activities, volunteering, things outside of your work. Yeah. Um, that really kind of showcases, you know, yourself. So I take it back to, um, you know, when I used to recruit, architects always had their portfolio. Um, you know, even if they weren't job seeking. So you should look at your LinkedIn profile in a similar kind of light. Um, and from like a company perspective as well, I think it's really important to be consistently, you know, again, going back to the engagement piece and the, the growth and engagement on LinkedIn, um, people are con consistently coming to LinkedIn. So you want to make sure that you have a really great brand, uh, regardless of whatever industry that you work in. Mm. You want to make sure that you're kind of keeping up to date with what's going on in your industry, uh, with your peers. Uh, you want to use it as a channel to actually showcase what you're doing as a company. So whether it's events, 
um, activities within your organization, projects you're working on, product updates, uh, because it is, again, going back to the ecosystem, people aren't just coming to the platform to job seek or source candidates. People are going to engage, wanting to know what's going on within the in industries. Mm. Um, and it's kind of, you know, future-proofing talent as well if, if you have members coming onto the platform and they have a really good understanding of what you're doing as a business. Um, you know, you might not be looking for a job now, but people are cons consistently changing jobs. So maybe in the future, they can Absolutely, see you as yeah. an employer of choice. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Yeah. So how does LinkedIn, I guess, differ to other job, job seeking platforms? Yeah, absolutely. So I think it follows through from what Louis just spoke about. Um, and going back to our mission statement, where we're bringing together professionals to make them more productive and successful. So we are the biggest professional network on the internet. And for us, yeah. Um, <laughs> And for us, it's more so our community that makes us different. So mm. we're not a job board. You can, you can actually take a short course on LinkedIn. You can post up a photo about what you were doing. You can create a, an event on LinkedIn. You can connect with someone that you worked with seven years ago on LinkedIn. So what makes us different is our community and what we can offer. We're not just about, oh, he, you can find a job or I'm looking for someone to hire. It's more so we, aim to develop you in all different areas mm. and every single person is going to have a different goal on LinkedIn and we want to make sure that we're there for every single um, person. Yeah, 100%. So that's, that's it guys, thanks so much for coming on. How was, how was your first, was this your first? Yeah, it's my first podcast. Yes. Yeah. No, it was great. It? I, like, I'm, I can't. Kind of relieved. <laughs> I need to get <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't do this. Just relieved that it's done now. <laughs> that was <laughs> good. Yeah. I might have to start my own one. Yeah, good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I invite you guys on. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. Yeah, I don't know what I talk about, but no, it was awesome. Thanks so much for making time, guys. Thanks for having us. I guess I don't know. If you want to contact LinkedIn, you can contact me. Probably talk to one of these. Yeah, my details will be below. Yeah, if you want, is it below? No, it's above. Above. You can add a little sticker. Oh yeah, you just want to point where it is. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Perfect guys, thanks so much for coming on. We'll see you guys in another fortnight uh, for another episode of the SM Show. Thank you. Thanks, guys.